All right, Nicole, I'm trying this little screen recorder deal out. So, we're new here first is scroll to FanDuel, which is here. Then we're going to click on NFL. And, oh, well, I'll show you this example down here at the bottom. I have bet slips where it says bet slip here. I'm going to click on that and scroll all the way to the bottom and remove all selections. If I just want to remove one, you scroll to the left and delete. At least that's how it works on the Android. So remove all. So now here, this is all NFL. And for instance, whoa, went too far, so it went into NHL. So NFL here. So right here in the Raiders Chiefs game, where it shows plus ten or minus ten, um, they're saying that they're automatically giving the Chiefs. They think the Chiefs will win by ten points. So basically, if you pick the Raiders to win, they'd have to win by ten and a half points. Or I mean, I'm sorry. If you pick the Raiders to win, they'd have to win by. They could lose by nine and a half points and still win. If you pick the Chiefs to win, they would have to win by ten and a half points. So I know that might sound confusing in itself, but that's what that plus or minus ten is, or this game is plus or minus five, eight and a half. The team with the minus is favored by that many points. So basically at two and a half, they're back to even. Up here at 10, they're back to even. So anyway, separate from that, let's say, which I did, I'm going to pick the Chiefs. I don't have to bet right here where it says bet. I don't have to do that. I'm just going to leave that blank. Then let's say I'm going to pick the Saints over the Jets. I don't have to bet. Let's say pick the um, Panthers over the Falcons. Let's say pick the Cowboys over the Washington. Let's say I pick Seattle over Houston here. So, so far I've got five games there. So right now, if I went to the bet slip, I'm not betting on any of these games here. But I could write down below here, it says five leg parlay. It says plus twenty five thirty. So basically, if I bet one dollar, it'd be twenty five bucks. Well, that's not very exciting. So I bet five dollars, one hundred twenty six. So I'm gonna go back, close bet slip, and keep picking. So I'll pick the Broncos over the Lions, Chargers over the Giants, Green Bay over the even by twelve. Well, that's a little tough, but. So let's say that's all I picked. Now I go here. Bet slip. And if I bet, it's at 18,229 uh, now. So if I bet $1, I win $182. So if I bet $5, that's $911. So that could be all adjusted, however. Just bet a dollar. So down here it says teasers. I don't really know what those are yet, but anyways, let's go back, close this, and leave that one in there. So now if I go to, let's see, more NFL here. Oops, yeah, more NFL. Now it shows me up here at the top, games, weekly specials, Super Bowl, Winner. So I'm going to pick on weekly special. Now, right here, these are a plus 150. So an example of this is if I bet $1, where's the plus 150? If I bet $1, I'd win $1.50. So I'm going to delete that one. Oops. 
delete that one close so what I want to do is go down to the high ones see they get higher lower we go let's see so right here it shows you game specials plus 2,000 to 4,900 so that is 2,000 would be I believe let's just try that out one dollar would win one dollar when it says 2200 wins 22 bucks that's cool but not very exciting so down farther right here it shows 5,000 and above this one's 2,000 between 2,000 and 4,900 this is 5,000 and above we're going to click show all so now these ones are $10,000 ones. And this is one I bet on, for instance. Josh Jacobs and James Robinson each to have one rushing TD and one receiving TD. So I clicked on that. Go to bet slip, for instance. If I bet $5, I win $500, if that happens. $10, you win 1000 Obviously, there are that odds because they're saying it's hard. That's a lower chance it'll happen. But for one dollar to win one hundred, or two dollars to win two and twelve hundred, or I mean, I'm sorry, two dollars to win two hundred. It's not bad. Let's see if I see anything else that. So that's like the weekly special things up here. These ones just say most receiving yards, but they're not really that high. So if I say, out of these guys here, if I say Devontae Adams will have it, well, he's he's got a lower number because the odds are that he will have it. That's why he's at 750. The highest number will be the guy with the lowest odds to have it ha make it happen. Which is why Jared Cook down here is at a plus 11,000. So it's most likely not going to happen. Anyway, so that's just a little touch on some of the stuff. Hope that helps a little bit. And talk to you later. All right. Oh, by the way, as I mentioned, once you bet $20, they give you automatically just pops in your bank or whatever an extra 50 bucks. So I bet. $75 yesterday, 20 was my own, or 25 was my own, 50 of theirs. All right, bye, have fun.